Hello students, in today's session, we are discussing some extra problems on the topic arithmetic progression. These are, these problems are extra problems which are not given in your textbook. But from the examination point of view, these problems are very, very important. So let us try to solve the problems one by one. First problem is like this. Which term of the AP? 3, 15, 27, 39 and so on will be 120 more than its 21st terms. Let us try to write the given terms. First, A is given. The value of A is 3. The value of D can be calculated. D is nothing but A2 minus A1. A2 minus A1 means it is 15 minus 3. 15 minus 3 is going to be 12. Means I got the value of A and I got the value of D. I need to find the value of N. So which term they are asking. Therefore, I want to find the value of N. So to calculate the value of N, we are using this formula. An is equal to. But they have given the condition. So which term of the AP means I want to calculate the value of N. But this term is 120 more than its 21st term. So its 21st term means A21. They have given 120 more means plus 120. It is like this. Now I want to calculate. So An is nothing but A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to A21. A21 means we know A plus 20D. So this 120 as it is. Now we want to solve this. So directly we can cancel this A and A because same terms but they are on either side of the equal. We can cancel. So I want to find this N. So N minus 1 as it is. We know the value of D. Let us substitute. The value of D is. 12 is equal to 20 into 12 means I am substituting the value of D plus 120. So N minus 1 into 12 is equal to 20 into 12 which is 240 plus 120 this as it is. So N minus 1 into 12 is equal to 240 plus 120 is it nothing but 360 so i want n minus 1 means i am shifting this term 12 so which is nothing but 360 divided by 12 so n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 is equal to so 12 ones are 12, 3 is 36 and 1, 0. So, I am shifting this minus 1. N is equal to, is it nothing but 30 plus 1. Therefore, N is equal to 31. This is the final answer. So, we can conclude that 31st term is 120 more than its 21st term. So, a very simple question. So you can look into the question and you can note down. Second question is, if 7 times the 7th term of an AP equal to 11 times the 11th term, then find the 18th term. So now let us understand. First we will try to write the given equation. 7 times of 7th term. 7 times of the 7th term means 7 into times indicates multiplication. 7 times of the 7th term. 7th term means A7 like this. 7 times of 7th term is equal to 11 times of 11th term means 11 into A11. Then find the 18th term. This is the given equation. Using this equation we try to solve. So 7 times. 7th term, already we know. So, A7 means A plus 
how many d's one less than this means can i write 6d is equal to 11 times the 11th term a plus 1 less than this means can i write 10d so we'll try to multiply 7 into a which is 7a plus 42d is equal to 11 into a is 11a plus so 110d so we are multiplying so we'll try to take all the terms one side so 11a 11a i am shifting the 7a it becomes minus 7a so 110 is here 110d and i am shifting this 42d so can i write minus 42d is equal to 0 means i am shifting all the terms one side so i'll try to calculate so 11a minus 7a is 4a next 110 minus 42 which is going to be 68d is equal to 0 so let us think is it possible to take anything common definitely we can take we can take 4 as the common term so suppose if i take 4 out what is remaining here a remains plus 4 17 is 68 therefore 17 d is equal to 0 so i want to shift this 4 to the rhs which is a plus can i write the 17 d as 18 minus 1 because 17 is nothing but 18 minus 1 d is equal to 0 divided by 4 is going to be 0 only exactly looks like a plus n minus 1 into d so which is nothing but a n means i can say a 18 is equal to 0 i can find the 18th term in this way so therefore 18th term of an ap is 0 a very beautiful question and simple also just uh, try to note down the question and we can go for the next one so in the next question in a given ap p the term is q and q the term is p show that n the term is p plus q minus n so very very important question from the examination point of view so let's try to solve it so p the term is q means p the term i can write tp so p the term is q means mark. next q the term is p q the term means tq tq is equal to p so using these two i want to frame the equation later i am going to find the nth term remember one thing to find the nth term i need two things one is a means first term second one is d that is common difference first i need to calculate the first term and common difference later i need to calculate the value of n so first tp p the term so we know a n is nothing but a plus n minus 1 d in the same sense tp p the term means a plus can i write p minus 1 into d is equal to q i call it as equation number one simple next tq means q the term a plus can i write q minus 1 into d is equal to p i'll call it as equation number i hope you can recall it these are nothing but pair of linear equations into variables there are two variables one is a and another one is d here mainly two variables so now i want to solve this any method you can go for better is elimination so let's try to solve this using elimination means i want to change the sign so can i subtract here also minus and here also minus so a minus a both the terms are going to get cancels 
So the remaining is very very important here. Try to understand this step. P minus one minus Q minus one. Can I write minus Q minus into minus plus one into D is here. D that's equal to. Can I write Q minus? Now let's uh, calculate plus one and minus one get cancels. What is remaining? P minus Q. Just shift this. So D is D is equal to Q minus P divided by P minus Q. So both look same, but uh, in the numerator and denominator there is a change in the sign. So I can take the minus term out from the numerator. If I take minus out, so what happens? Minus p becomes plus p and plus q becomes minus q divided by it is nothing but p minus q. So both the terms get cancelled. What is remaining? Minus 1. So this is the value of d. I want to calculate a next. So consider any one equation. So better can I go for the first equation? So I'll write consider equation 1 which is a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to q. So let's try to substitute the value of d in that to calculate the value of a. So a plus p minus 1 d value is minus 1 is equal to q. Next, a, uh, p into minus 1, can I write minus p? Next, minus 1 into minus 1, it is nothing but plus 1 is equal to q. I want a, therefore, I want to shift all the terms. Minus p, if I shift it, it becomes plus p. And uh, this is q and this is minus 1. This is value of a. Now I got a value and d value. Now I want to find nth term. As we know the formula for nth term of an AP is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So we already calculated the value of a and we calculated the value of d. Let us try to substitute the value of a and d in the equation. So the a value is p plus q minus 1. So this is p plus q minus 1 plus n minus 1 as it is because we are calculating nth term. The value of n is n only and the value of d is already calculated. It is minus 1. So minus 1. So try to multiply p plus q minus 1 as it is. n into minus 1 is minus n. Minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So which are all the terms we can cancel? Plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. So what is remaining? P plus Q minus N. Therefore, we can say N the term of an AP. AN is equal to P plus Q minus N. A final. I hope this solution is cleared for you.